Hello my creative friends, Olga Sobi here and you know I love experimenting with new products for acrylic pouring and today I want to test out the new paint, the ready mix pouring paint by Deco Art. Here I have uh, eight different colors, they came as set of four and four. Lucky me, I got them before this whole craziness started, so today I want to see how they work and every time I'm trying out new product for pouring, I like to test it with the most basic techniques just to see how it's holding the shape of the rings, you know, creating cells and everything like that before I move on to more like advanced techniques. So today I have two small canvases here. On one I want to do a ring pour and on the other one I'm going to do a flip cup. So yeah, let's get started. First I want to do a ring pour. Uh, let me think which colors I want to use for this technique. So I can put this away for now. So I really like this mint green. That would be one. I uh, have two blues. One is true blue, one is navy. So I think I'll go with the true blue because navy might be a little too dark. Next I want to choose one of these. Um, yeah, let's go with this one. And also probably white and beige. Yeah, I'll just use both of these. It's always working with my silicone cups. And this is such a small canvas. I really don't need a whole lot of paint. The Deco Art Pour Medium is pretty decent. So I really hope these paints work well as well. Yeah, this color is not very pretty. It's like grayish beige. No, I don't want to use that anymore. Let's go with blue. I think I'm gonna finish it with the navy blue. Just let's make it a little darker at the end. All right. So as I was pouring, I noticed that I did get a little bit of cells here and there. So if I torch, I'm going to get a whole lot more. So far it's working pretty well in terms of how it holds the shape of the rings, but I know if I'm gonna keep tilting, I'm gonna probably lose most or all of that pink. I don't wanna lose it because I kinda wanna see how it dries. So I will just probably add black color all around here, just to help those colors stretch without losing the whole lot of details. Clearly not the prettiest ring pour I have ever done, but in terms of how it worked for this technique, I have to say pretty good. Uh, I did get a lot of cells, like really small cells here and there. Um, I don't mind that at all, but I know for some people, cells, especially in ring pour, is a downside. 
All right, so let me put this one away and let's do the flip cup, yeah. For my flip cup, I'm gonna use these six colors. I don't know if you guys can see them, but yeah. But I don't want to add silicone to all six. I'll add silicone to the blue, the true blue. And to white. Yeah, let's add to this color. Okay, this is such a small amount of paint, really don't need a lot of silicone, like, you know, one tiny drop is more than enough. Okay. So let's do the flip cup. I like to let my color sit for a few seconds before the flip. Let's see how it works. I'm so excited. I like to add a few ribbons here. So the, plain, the consistency of the paint, from what I can tell so far, is sort of in the middle, like a medium consistency, but closer to more fluid consistency. Okay. Okay, let's actually, let's torch it. Let's torch it and, yeah. Ooh, the cells are so pretty. Okay. Oh, I love it. Love it so far. Woo that's nice. It's working well. I think I didn't torch this area. Okay, I seriously love this area. The one, this one cell is a little too big, obviously, but the small cells are so cute. Actually, let me bring it a little closer to the camera so you guys can see. Yeah, they're looking pretty cool. Let's see what happens to them with tilting. Okay, I'm losing my pretty ribbons. Again, I'm gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna add some black. It doesn't have to be black, it can be any color, but adding some base coat really helps colors flow and stretch across the canvas. So for this ready mix paint, the selection of colors was not the greatest. And yeah, some of colors in sets are also really strange. But I have to say, so far these colors are working out pretty well. Okay, let's keep going. I want to like really stretch the center area to see how well the cells are holding together.
Yeah, after I torched again, I got like a bunch of new small cells. I like that. Well, so far the cells are holding pretty well. I kept tilting and tilting and tilting and with some products or mixtures, cells begin to break. These cells have changed their form, obviously, but they're still like, they're still very uh, defined and you can see like sharp borders between the cells. So that being said, I am going to put this one away too. And now let's see how they dry. Oh yeah, before I put them away, I wanted to mention that the colors are not super bright. They look a little dull to me, but again, need to see how they look when dry. So I'll be back soon. All right, my friends, so here are these two dry. So first of all, I have to say that the finish is slightly glossy. It's not super glossy like the finish from uh, Artist Loft Ready Mix Paint but it's quite nice and also i have to say that the colors although they're not super bright they stay true to what they were when the paint was wet so there was not much of a color change after the drying next thing that i want to notice is that i got a little bit of crazing in my ring pour it's not super major i honestly don't know if the camera is gonna be able to show but mainly right here in this area yeah i hope you can see it in the shadow so this surface is not perfectly smooth i did get a little bit of texture here and there and see a little bit of crack right here so that's the downside for me but overall the way it holds the shape of the rings you know and the way it dries it's very nice I am a lot more happy with my uh, flip cup. The cells stayed exactly as I left them and I think it dried really good. I did get a few tiny speed holes from silicone, but overall the surface is nice and smooth and slightly glossy. So I really like that. So I think this paint worked pretty well for the flip cup technique. So far, if I had to choose between Artist Love Premix Paint and um, Deco Art, I would say that I like Artist Love better, but I think that one experiment is not enough to make any final decisions. So I want to uh, do one more test uh, with this product. I want to try out a few other techniques and please let me know in the comment under the video what are the other techniques you would like to see you know, with this premix paint, what are the other experiments you would like to see. And as always, thank you so much for watching. I'm looking forward to hearing from you regarding the next experiment. And take care, you guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.